In this video, we'll have a look at Warren Buffett's history. We are huge fans of his work, and we always find his story really inspirational. With his first investment partnership, he achieved a 29.50% return on an average over 12 years. But there's much more to it than just getting hyped up for success. As we already mentioned, one of the best ways to improve your skills in any area is by looking at what the professionals are doing. And this applies to investing as well. You can learn a great deal about the stock market just by observing his choices. Here, we'll have a look at 12 of the most significant things that Buffett used to achieve his amazing results. Number one, don't analyze the market or the economy. Instead, focus on the business itself. Warren Buffett's approach is largely focused on the individual performance of businesses. While most people are busy worrying about the overall state of the market or the economy, he spends this time analyzing businesses and finding more ways to make money. Because in the grand scheme of things, it's the business that really concerns you. It doesn't matter if the economy will go up or down, if you'll be in a bear or a bull market. As long as you do your research well and you pay a fair price for your stock, you will end up making money. However, there is one exception to this rule. Buffett does rely on one big economic measure in his analysis, the GDP ratio. This is used to compare the price to what the businesses are producing. Number two, operating history. Warren Buffett focuses on businesses with consistency. He's looking for consistent results over a long period of time. This one is rather obvious. As a long-term investor, you care about the bigger picture and historical data is the best and clearest representation of that. Number three, look for long-term prospects. Continuing from two, you obviously want the business to demonstrate favorable long-term prospects. Here is where that historical data is put into practice. It allows you to get a good idea for what you can expect from the business in the future. Number four, rational management. Warren Buffett values rational managers very highly. Interviews, presentations, and conference calls play a big part here. Additionally, you can also use the historical data to get a clearer idea of how it all fits together. When you're giving a business your hard-earned cash, you want to be sure that the management will use it well. Number five, honest management. If a business leader is willing to admit their mistakes, that's a clear indication that they really care about the future of the company. They want to put their best foot forward and try to keep everything transparent. Warren Buffett himself is a good example here. He has a history of openly admitting his mistakes with Berkshire Hathaway. Number six, institutional imperatives. Most companies and institutions like to show that they're always up to something. They want to demonstrate their involvement in activities. Why do they do it? Because it will keep their shareholders positive and it will help them attract even more people to the business. But there is also such a thing as too much activity. If they're always in a rush to do more, they're likely not giving their activities the necessary time and attention. And that's not something that a long-term investor like Mr. Buffett appreciates. Number seven, ROE-focused investments. When he analyzes businesses, Warren Buffett likes to focus on return on equity and good profit margins. As we already discussed, return on equity is one of the key measures for him and for most other investors who try to follow in his footsteps. Number eight, use the owner's earnings in your calculations. According to Buffett, the owner's earnings are the best way to measure the intrinsic value of a business. I showed you how to do this calculation and we'd highly advise you to use it in your own evaluations as well. Number nine, the $1 promise. What is the market value assigned to each dollar of retained earnings? It's essentially a way to measure the retained earnings compared to how much you paid for each dollar. Number 10, intrinsic value estimates. As one of the most prominent value investors out there, Buffett naturally places a big importance of the intrinsic value of a business. For him, this is one of the most important metrics that make or break a stock. It's all about buying low and selling high. You're trying to buy undervalued businesses and to only sell when they happen to be overvalued. Number 11, focus on the long term. This is another key point that I'm sure you've already understood for yourself. Still, it's worth noting that Buffett also focuses exclusively on the long term and the bigger picture. 
In the short term, the stock market can always experience drastic changes. In the long term, however, it will always balance itself out. Don't give in to hype or panic. Instead, stay focused on the bigger picture and you will succeed. Number 12, wide economic moats. We're going to wrap up the list with one of the most important rules that Buffett follows. He uses the economic moat to determine the quality of a business. As a long-term investor, Buffett will always look for businesses that are ahead of the curve. A business that is capable of not just getting ahead of the competition, but also remaining ahead. That competitive advantage is the moat. It's the thing that protects the business from the competitors. And there you have it, the 12 most important rules for successful value investing. We know that there was a lot of information in this lesson, so if you feel like you didn't fully understand something, please go through it again. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video.